Last thing I wrote, um, I did a free write this morning, which was really, really random, a really long free write, that was about um, teenage pregnancy and just like judging girls that are kind of deemed hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look back at this and be like, oh man. <laughs> but um, it's the truth, that's what it's about. So um, yeah, that's what the poem is. Show you just what it feels like I I will never be involved in that. <laughs> Don't do reality TV. Can you introduce yourself to the camera and tell us what to do? Um, my name is Indigo Williams and I am a spoken word artist. Okay. Any more you want to tell us? From South London. South London. If you're interested. What's so good about South London? Um, What's good about South London? It's, it's all right, it's cool. There's Clapham Common Park is a really nice place to be. Um, do I feed ducks there? No, I just like to sit down on the grass on a sunny day and chill out. I was a singer before I was a poet um, and I could never really say, I say I was a singer, but I've never really felt like a singer. I was a poet who could just sing. First yeah. time I performed. I was in Watford at a place called DIY Womp which was my first gig in November last year. And um, I was really, really nervous, man. I was nervous and none of my friends could make it. So I was in Watford, far away from home. And the crowd was like really um, unresponsive. It was just one of those that they wait for you at the end and then they clap. And it was just cold and it was my first show. I'd never done it before. And I did the statistics one. According to statistics, I am above, which talking about, you know, stereotypes and stuff. And then after I finished, this lady came up to me. It was a white lady. Um, she came up to me and she's like, oh, this, your poem was really good and it's so true, I absolutely thought that about you. I thought your name probably would be Keisha or whatever. So, you really changed my mind. No, that's what she said, at least she was being honest. Would I say I'm political? <sighs> I don't think so, but um, people tend to think I am. Maybe I'm unknowingly political. I may touch on issues that may, you know, be political, but not. I'm not political, I don't... Okay, I can be. Let's put it that way. What's happened today? Um, I've been at home writing, working, updating my MySpace, because I never update my MySpace, but I thought I'd be, you know. Huh? I'm not the only person. There are people who still use it. Still on Facebook. Um, real friends or friends? Because there's a difference. Friends. I've tried to, like, you know, clear it out a bit. Um, around 500? Yeah, around 500 people. Not really. I mean, because I'm a performer, people know who I am. I think. <laughs> um, so people will add me after they see me at shows, but um, it doesn't mean I actually know these people. You know, it's just promotion. What has to happen? What do I have to do to be a friend of Facebook? Just type in Indigo Williams. Isn't there a criteria by which I'm kind of accept? If I say hello to you, if I say hi, if I don't know who you are and I say hello, and um, you don't reply, I'm not going to add you. I won't add you, because then what's the point of us, you know, connecting? The whole point of Facebook. Because I just don't like gathering, you know, collecting people if I know I'm not really going to talk to you. Um, but if I say hi, and you're like, hi, even if it's just a random reason, I'll add you. It's not a problem. What makes me happy? Um, a lot of things. Um, when I see someone who does what I do, but they're amazing at it, that feeling you get when, you know, someone who humbles you? I don't know if any art, if the artists know. You see someone and they're just so sick and you're just like, I need to go home and write. But it's not like a, a, a diography of, oh, I feel bad about myself. It's like, I wanna, they make you wanna create. That makes me happy. I love meeting people like that. If they ask you, what is your name? Do not shy away in shame. Do not mumble it nonchalantly under your breath and let the wind carry it away, but rather hold it close to your chest and with pride tell them it is powerful. Tell them it is all-knowing. Like a fortune teller reading the lines in your palm, your name tells your fortune backwards because we are the embers of our bloodlines, the proof that those that have passed were once here. 
They resurrect through us, through the shape of our eyes, the curve of our smiles, and in the parts of ourselves we do not recognize. We are forgotten faces, and our names are time machines that show today what yesterday looked like. So learn to say every name like you are reading from a holy book like they are deities reincarnated in the form of human beings. Look upon each name with sacred admiration because we are protesters, marchers, believers of peace and kindness. We are niggers on slave ships and owners of plantations. We are the apartheid and the falling of the Berlin Wall. We are six million Jews holding our breaths, praying for those bullets not to find us. We are Nazis and those that turn the other cheek until the last minute. We are civil wars in Somalia and the genocide of Rwanda. We are stories the world will never hear because the news will never report them. We are names that will never be mentioned in history books but have done more for mankind than our presidents and prime ministers. We are secrets and folded like an origami flower but is opened every time we are called, so tell them. Call me by my name. Do not abbreviate or change my history because my past is as relevant as today because I I'm powerful. I was born to make history. Like a footprint embedded in the earth, I will leave a trail behind me just like those who came before me. Tell them I am the bearer of promise, the fulfillment of change. You prophesy of me every time you call my name. I am the hurricane spinning its way through a city. They will know that I came if they ask you, what is your name? Do not shy away in shame. Do not mumble it nonchantly under your breath and let the wind carry it away, but rather hold it close to your chest and with pride tell them, because your name is powerful. Thank you. Is that it, yeah? Sweet, man. That's cool.